Good morning, everybody. We're coming to you live from inside the main build facility here at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. I'm Tom. There's the ladies' man right there, and we all know Bubba the Master. Good morning, Bub. How you doing today? I'm doing pretty good, man. As good as I can be for as sick as I am, I'm doing pretty good. Bub, I got to tell you, you've really hung in there since last week, uh, Memorial Day. You started feeling this cold come on. Here in South Florida, we've had that flu going around, and you've worked like an animal, man. It's that thing, dude. It came in from one of these mosquitoes. What's that virus called? The Zika virus. No, man, not that one. That's the funky pretty... monkey virus. That's it. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, Bub has been diagnosed with the funky monkey vi virus, and there is the monkey house with us today by the way yeah but who was the doctor because that sounds pretty sketch dr tom oh there it is that explains that well, that's why you're not getting any better is <laughs> that explains that ladies and gentlemen this episode is brought to you by bubba's exotic motorsports that's bubba's exotic motorsports.com miss outlaw boutique where we will be filming live tomorrow miss outlaw boutique 561-660-6695 monkey in paradise the social vodka two-time gold medal winner bub what is your paradise hey man we keep discussing it we keep saying it, it is the entire powerhouse now. It was small, it was just local BEM, Jupiter, Florida. Now it is the entire pride. It is BEM, it is MIP, it is DNA Tony Surface Rienzi, Concepts, DNA Surface Concepts, DVA Motorsports, M uh, Miss Outlaw Boutique. So there is an entire pack of just strong, successful people all around us at all times, which I love. Powerhouse group of people, ladies and gentlemen. TonyRienzi.com. Tony Rienzi, the exotic car guru and salesman to the stars who's currently got the two Bubba's Exotic Motorsports Turbinetics Porsches up for sale yep. on his website. Uh, if you guys haven't seen those cars in person, you'll be amazed at how they look uh, yeah. up on his website. There, really good Bubba. looking. Really, really super good stuff out there, man. Yep. It's, it's crazy. Turbinetics Inc., they're in the house, Bob. We're going to be talking about it here. I want to say good morning to Robin Vernon from South Beach Classics. She's watching Robin. Good morning. A lot of, <laughs> morning, good, things, a lot of good things coming out of Robin's side of the camp over there yeah. uh, she's been through the mud uh, with some of the things that have been going on if those of you haven't uh, that aren't familiar with it uh, there's gonna be there, there's there's a lot just just uh, go out to Robin Vernon's social media I think you guys will learn some things that you never thought was possible Robin's a trooper she's a warrior she's stud strong and she's gonna come through this hard on the backside so good morning Robin and thank you for joining us we really appreciate all of your years of support even when we were hanging with you backstage unveiling the Bucky Dent car man. I think we were all drunk at that part too for sure. Robin was the only one sober, I think. No, she was egging me on. Was she really? Yeah. Here, Bubster, have another drink? Pretty much. Right on. She's like, here, try that? this one. I was worried which one was filled with something else. Was anything filled with anything else? I don't know. I just wrote them all out. You know me. How about put that? Me, put a drink in my hand and I'm going. Robin, good morning. Just remember, everybody, karma always comes back. Robin can tell you that story. But we're going to talk a little bit about Boosted Bash in yeah. California. This is the Bubba Exotic Motorsports Turbinetic 600 horsepower drop-in uh, turbo Mustang. It's the only one like it in the world. Uh, this car will be being unveiled in Moore Park, California, Jan uh, June the 10th, which mm -hmm. is next Saturday. This Saturday. This, sa coming. this Saturday coming up in yep. Moore Park. We get on an airplane and fly out. Uh, our driver leaves tomorrow morning with the car. We are not going to unveil the motor portion of it to you today. You'll have to come out to Boosted Bash to see it. But this is the second Bubba Edition Motorsports Turbinetics concept car you have built. And you're currently in the process of building a third on the lift right here. I am, us. man. A lot of that stuff is going on. I'll tell you what, dude. It's, uh, you know, we, we've got a lot of high-end sponsors that back us here at BEM. A lot of well-known name brands out there, you know, just really good quality companies. And there's a reason for that. You know, we build really strong, all the qualities, always 110%. And that's why we align ourselves with Turbonetics, which has now even picked up Precision and Napier Turbos. So the horizon just got that much bigger. Um, I'll tell you, this kit that we installed on this car was probably one of the most, I've said it before, but it is probably the most direct fit bolt-on forced induction system I've ever touched in my life. And I've done a lot of forced induction. It couldn't have been any easier than this. The average guy, literally you, I probably could have given it to our producer, Matt, and told him to install it and he could have figured it out. It was that Wait. simple. Wait. No, I mentioned you. I Me. threw you in there. Yeah, I threw you in there. I'm telling Ladies you. and gentlemen, I'm being given credit for being able to install this turbine. No, no, no. No, I didn't say you did install it. I'm just saying you possibly could, possibly, maybe. But there's every possibility I couldn't as well. Typically, that's a 50-50 chance in my book. It is an amazing build, ladies and gentlemen. We were here after the show, uh, our number one rated internationally syndicated motorsports podcast, doing it Bubba style, heard every Saturday morning from 9 to 10 on the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports Network uh, and seen live. It's the only motorsports uh, podcast in the world filmed live and uh, viewed on uh, Facebook, Bubba. 
up. But after that show at 10 o'clock Saturday morning, you were out here getting this together, getting it ready to go. I was, man. You know, it's a lot. You know, people don't understand how much time goes into just getting these cars ready to go out on the road all the way down to the fact that it's not just getting this car ready, it's getting our enclosed 26 foot trailer ready. It's getting our brand new dually ready. Our dually would have been ready technically because it's brand new with 400 miles. Somebody wrecked it, but we'll move beyond that. So anyway, Saturday, I was not only getting the trailer ready, I was getting the turbo kit finished on this, plus I was getting the dually repainted. And as luck would have it, the upgrade you did, the part didn't get here until late Saturday morning yep. as we were on the air. You bolted it on and it still didn't crack the problem. No, this man. this speaks everything, Bub, about why Turbinetics comes to you as one of the top three designers and builders in the world today and looks to you to help them figure through these problems. Yeah, it's uh, you know, just like anything, you know, when you take, even though there's hundreds of thousands of hours between the entire R&D team over at Turbonetics Inc., so they're, they have tested this turbo, they've built this turbo, they've run it, they've power tested it, they've VSR'd it, everything you could possibly imagine to do to this turbo. Wait, 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 VSR? Yeah, let's just move on, because I, I don't want to get over your head. Okay. So anyways, when you start doing all of these tests, you understand that the turbo is doing its job. The turbo is capable of building easily 30 plus pounds of boost, just to make, well, let's say that would take this motor and just blow it right apart. We were very concerned about that because if you had to bypass anything to get this thing where it's promised to be when it shows up in Moore Park, mm -hmm. you didn't want somebody getting in and blowing this motor up. It is the only yeah. stock block set up like this. Well, that was the goal with this car. You know, there's a lot of controversy out there right now already in the EcoBoost world with this car because there's a lot of people that say, well, you know, other people have broken 600 horsepower, other people have, that's fine, I get it. But all Not of that the way has been have. done with a lot of modifications. That's been done with cam upgrades, whether it's through Mountain or anybody else out there. Um, there's, you know, cam upgrades, there's cylinder head upgrades, there's four port individual manifolds you can buy for these things. There are built blocks from MA Performance. There's a lot of different components out there you can buy, like FF, uh, FF Tech turbos for these cars. A lot of components. You can easily build an EcoBoost to 900 horse. Not hard with auxiliary fuel systems and the motor properly built. But this is a true bolt together car. There's nothing about this car that you can't just take with the average set of tools and bolt on with the proper tune done. That's the point of this car is to achieve 600 horsepower on a factory built engine from Ford just like the way it rolled off the showroom floor. And that's what you've that's been able unheard to accomplish. Yeah. And it didn't come together until late yesterday afternoon. Yep. Today we dance it together, we get it ready to go out. You've got a one o'clock meeting today. Um, this has got to be detailed. It's got to get on our touring trailer and head 2,700 miles to more Port, more Port, California. I'm gonna have to do an oil change on the dually when it comes back. <sighs> Dang it, man. Yeah. I just did it. How First one. That? Now I gotta do another one and it comes back. And How about that? It's actually gonna be over because I do them every 3,000 miles. That's right, you do. I'm yeah. gonna have Reggie change it out there in California. There you go. So this, you can see this vehicle unveiled June the 10th, this coming Saturday yep. in Moor Park at Turbinetics headquarters. It's the only place you're gonna see it. I don't know if it's coming back with uh, the trailer or if it's staying out there and Reggie's taking it out on tour. No idea. I don't know what's happening. No idea, I don't really care. But ladies and gentlemen, from there, Turbinetics uh, will take the car and do as they see fit to move it around. Um, and you'll, they'll let you know where the schedule is and where you'll be able to see this car in person from That's that it. point. Now I do know, and I don't know what the schedule is for directly after Turbonetics, as you're saying, for Boosted Bash, this is going to be an insane time. I mean, the celebrities that are going to be there, the events that are going to be there. We are one of the, the celebrities. vendors that are going to be there. I mean, everything you could possibly imagine. Plus, Reggie is doing complete free tours through the entire Turbonetics yes. facility, through their showroom, through their manufacturing plant, through the tech side of it. So you're going to, for a general person, you're gonna be able to see this stuff, the way it's built, the way it's designed, the way it's tested, and then you understand why you're getting the best quality out there. And we will be out there with In Jupiter Magazine. We're featured this month with Burt Reynolds, the legendary Burt Reynolds. We'll be autographing the magazine for you uh, out there uh, during the time that we're set up to be with the public. So yep. it's gonna be a lot of fun. I understand Reggie has a car for me to drive out there. And speaking of driving, bub, the monkey is in the house today. Yep. I'm gonna have them step on stage the 25th. We are out at uh, the legendary Palm Beach International Race way ladies and gentlemen uh, and we're going to be talking a little bit about that the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports uh, Rally and Drift Car Driver the legendary champion Geo Hammerback will be out there with us we're going to have the BEM Motorsports uh, Rally Car out yep. the drift car the BMW yep. is going to be yep. out we'll there we'll have correct? the drift car out there running and um, you know the way we're going to set that up we'll talk a little bit more with Alex from MIP on that but I think what we're going to do is do an actual full a part of what Monkey in Paradise is doing with Palm Beach International Raceway is a full charity event so for 
all day long. You can bring your own car. You can run it on the track with a minimum donation of 150 bucks. It goes to a family need. Alex will give us all that detailed information, which is really, really cool that they do that. So essentially, no one makes any money off of this event. All of it just goes straight to this family in need. Couldn't ask for much more than that. And you get to go out and just play with fun cars all day long. So I think what we'll do is tie in on the heels of that. We'll have Geo Hammerbeck out there running our BEM drift car and he'll be doing ride-alongs in that as well for a very minimum fee as well. Again, all of that's going to get donated to the charity. Charities, man. Really cool, man. Right on. And ladies and gentlemen, if you cannot join us in Moorpark, California, I would ask you to please, on Sunday, join our title sponsor, Cars & Coffee at Palm Beach, the Guinness World Record holding Cars & Coffee. Uh, the big shows, even. Big show, weekend, man. man. Big this, show. All the way through June. It's yeah, huge that's show. what I'm saying. Huge. If you can't join us out there, meet with our partner, uh, one of the Lion Pride, uh, Seth, uh, Sean Kelly from DNA Surface Concepts. Mm -hmm. He'll be there. Uh, I know the monkey will be out there uh, at Cars and Coffee at Palm Beach at the Palm Beach Outlets Mall from 9 to 12 above this Sunday. Yep. If a lot of get, good stuff, We man. can take a red eye and get back in in time and get in above his exact motorsports portion. Yeah, it just depends there. on how Reggie takes us out for dinner this Saturday night. It's gonna happen. you know what's happening. You know, oh, I know what's going to happen. You know what happens happen. every time we're on the road with him, man. It's so bad. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to introduce one of the founders of Monkey in Paradise Vodka, the incredible Mr. Alex. He's going to jump in here with us. Alex, please join what's us up, live. Alex? Say hello what's to the world. Bye -bye. Alex, how are hey, you? Hey, Tom, how, how you doing? It's great to see you, man. Good how is see everything? You. Slide on in here with us, Alex. I'll give you this side there. Okay. You can stand right there by the ladies. He said you have to straddle him. Boy, yeah. That's what there I do, ladies and gentlemen. Do what I have to do. The ladies, That's man. it. That's, That's having a. Well, then my mom. But you can set. see he's used to being straddled. <laughs> He's not too stressed over it, right? Nope, he, so, he is comfortable. He is comfortable, that's correct. Alex, we're gonna be uh, joining you on the 25th of June at the Palm Beach International Raceway. Let's talk about it. Sure, so it's our second annual- The Monkey in Paradise. Monkey in Paradise racing event for a cause. So each year we pick a charitable cause and our friends at Diamante Atelier and they, who they, are they? Tell everybody who Diamante Atelier is so and you'll know. They are a premier diamond dealer that specializes mm -hmm. in colored diamonds. Indeed. Wow. So they're good friends of ours and they're so generous that they pay for the entire track rental. Then we manage hosting the event, picking the cause, inviting our friends and family and making it a, a special cause for a family in need. So we don't work directly with a charity. We pick a family and directly raise money for them, and they get the money that day. Right wow, on. that's right really on. cool. Yeah, so, so this year we, we found a young lady that has been battling breast cancer for several right years. On, Family's in need, so her and her family are gonna be at the event, and that's what, that's what we're raising money for, and that's our cause for this year. Really cool, dude. You hear well, I'll be there. I'll you, be there for sure. I know you will, Bob. I'll be there driving as well. No, um, you should You should probably just make your donation and then park. And take pictures. That's, That's it. it. Sit I'm, on the sideline. I, wait, I was presented the uh, Bubba's Exotic Motorsports Geo Hammerback official rally car. I'll probably take that out there. There'll be plastic parts everywhere. Perfect. It's a Dodge Viper. That sounds normal to me. That's a, yeah. So we'll have all kinds of fun activities going on. If you have an exotic car or a fast car you can get it on the track there's no fee to race but we do ask for a minimum 150 dollars donation right on oh, man we're going to also take the bubs exotic motorsports uh rally car driver geo hammerback monkey in paradise is a sponsor of the bubs exotic motorsports drift and rally car and we're going to have him out there too let's talk about that a little bit sure so geo's going to be doing hot laps and ride along ride alongs in the rally drift car so that's a great opportunity to go for a ride with a professional driver on the track. And if you've never been in a car with Geo, ladies and gentlemen, it is an absolute adrenaline dump. Riding with me is an adrenaline dump. He's a little yeah, more polished. Yeah, for about polished. four seconds. Yeah, and then it's all over. That's right. My ride's the shortest short. ride in the world. Exactly. <laughs> it's like full throttle off the line and right into a wall. Uh, so we'll be doing ride-alongs in the M3 drift car. That's correct. Then right. I'll also be doing ride-alongs in the Monkey in Paradise Corvette that, race that's car. Correct. That's Which correct. is now a full-out race car. Correct. I've heard. So that's going to be and very exciting. And more to come for you. A lot more to come. <laughs> a lot more to come. And you're yeah. releasing that car then. Or no, this week. We'll be releasing Saturday. At, yep, this Saturday. At Supercar Saturdays. Saturday at Broward Lamborghini. So right that, on, man. So that'll be our release. Then we'll also be at Cars and Coffee, Palm Beach on Sunday. Yes, 
Cars and Coffee at Palm Beach on Sunday will be the hard release of the Monkey in Paradise race car Corvette. Correct. It's going to be a really good time, man. What else do we have coming up? We have our monthly Cars and Coffee uh, at Monkey in Paradise. Bubba's Exotic Motorsports get together once a month. It's on the Cars and Coffee at Palm Beach uh, Facebook page. You'll see the calendar out there. What other events are we going to be looking forward to with Monkey in Paradise? So the most important for us is June 25th because that's for a cause. For the that's for a family that's really in need. So we're working hard on structuring that and making sure it's a really good time for everybody, even if they're not bringing a car. They're going to be able to get ride-alongs and be able to see some crazy exotic cars from McLarens, Ferraris, Lamborghinis. So they'll all be there. You'll be able to get up close, pictures. There's going to be food vendors. So it's going to be a great day. For a great cause. Bubba, I know one of the things we're looking at right now is putting in place a Bubba's Exotic Motorsports Monkey in Paradise Thursday night get together at Jumbie Bay. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking to the correct people right now. What we're thinking, ladies and gentlemen, is to have a weekly exotic get together of cars there at uh, Jumbie Bay with Monkey in Paradise. I think we so, kind of already started it yeah, last we, Thursday. We've already started. took over we half the did. bar, right? right? Yeah, and no, we, we did. did. We did. Out front, where they have, I mean, have you noticed, Alex, out front of Jumbie Bay? Why is our right technician down. Mike laughing off set over there? No idea. He was he hey, all I know is he was the first fly out last time. Yeah, how about Gone. that? I'll tell you what, they've started lining these beautiful 25-foot palms all the way down the street, just like Worth Avenue is downtown in West mm -hmm. Palm. You're familiar with that area. So I'll tell you what, last time, this was last Thursday night, we already had a line of pretty high-end sick looking cars out front. Everything from lifted Jeeps to Full out race Corvettes to the Turbonetics Mustang was out there to the Porsches. There was already a line running down the street. So we're already starting to do it. Thursday nights, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We're going to be doing this. It's a fun place. The monkey took over at, uh, where was it last night? The monkey was at Mango Jerry's? Or what was no, it Johnny Mango. Johnny, Johnny Mango's on uh, and Friday, Jupiter. Right, Saturday. Oh, no, it was yeah. Saturday night. And you, you guys missed it. I missed we it. It was a great yeah. time. I missed it. I was sick as, you know, what? So I was out. Yeah. So there were Monkey in Paradise promo girls giving out shots. We had our friends there. There was a, a live classic rock band. So it was a really fun night. Really good. And a big turnout. Really good. All right, yeah. Wow. And the monkey will be making appearance in Moore Park, California. It's already loaded on the trailer and ready to ready go. Ready to go. To, uh, ready to go for, to Reggie out at Turbinetics. It's on the touring trailer right now. Yep. All the girls out there want the monkey. I know. I that's, what I keep, that's what I keep hearing. The monkeys, monkey. Everybody much, wants the monkey. Everyone wants the monkey. Right. It's that simple. And it's much safer than having like the clap or gonorrhea. You understand that. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's much safer than that. I feel like having the monkey, no, that is. There's no parallel. As long as it's not on your back. No parallel between any of those. Well, it could be an underground. Drink park. responsibly, so there is That's no it. parallel. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's it. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, Monkey in Paradise does remind you to drink responsibly. Alex, we want to thank you for joining us today live on the set to talk My a pleasure. little bit about it, man. Good we'll see you guys. Thanks, Alex. We'll Paradise. see you soon. Yeah, yeah. You guys keep up all the good work over there, ladies thank and gentlemen. You. Alex from Monkey in Paradise. So, Bob, we're going to get ready to get this car detailed, cleaned up, and heading out to yeah. uh, Moore Park, California for the Boosted Bash release. Uh, Saturday, January, June 10th. I don't yep. know why I keep thinking January, man. My head's. Just I don't know. You're so still thinking ahead. about. We've got SEMA coming. We've Thanks, got Bob. Supercar Week coming. We today. have. No, we have. <laughs> That's a, lot a good of, business partner. Ladies we have and a gentlemen. lot of events that are going. You literally have to think. Just right here, there was already what one, two, three, just in this month alone. Four, maybe. Yeah. No, four, right four there. Just yeah. in this month alone, that are all literally everywhere from southeast all the way to the Midwest, right, or all the way far west, right. Yeah. So literally, we're going to be spanning the entire thing. Matt and I were talking about it. He's probably going to go down and do uh, whatever it is down here. What's the freaking one that's locally, dude? That's how many Cars and Coffee? Going. Cars and Coffee. Are you going, uh, if the, he does, our producer is going down to Cars and Coffee? He's probably taking one of the uh, Porsches down. And then okay. we've got Dot Com's going to probably take a Porsche down. So we'll be not only doing Cars and Coffee Palm Beach here, Southeast Florida, but we'll be doing a live feed. So two times we're going to be doing live feeds covering the entire United States. You can't get from much more from than east that. east to west, that's just called lion pride and dominance, bug that's style, it. that's what it's really all about. Yep, that's it, right? I'm gonna be having fun at Boosted Bash, because I'll tell you what, man, there are cars there. Now, keep in mind, 600 horsepower out of this car is fairly respectable for what it is, but let me tell you, 600 horse, and I will say it full out, hands down, 600 horse is pretty amateur in today's world. It, it is. is. It's easy to get it, especially on V8 cars that are coming with 500 plus. You throw on any sort of forced induction, you can easily touch that eight, 900 horsepower mark all day long on pump gas. So while this is very fun, there are gonna be cars out there running the 15, 2000, 2500 horsepower range. 
that are insanity, dude. And it's they're just running on the street. It's going to be fun. Talk about balls to the wall. That is it. It's going to be fun. So I'm ready. We're I'm ready for it. it. That's what we live for, ladies and gentlemen. Not just to build these great cars, but to come out and entertain you and meet you out there. We've always been very honest about that. That's where the fun comes in, is the entertainment side of things. Bro. Yep. So we're going to jump out of this segment, bud. Mr. Producer, is there anybody we needed to say hi to today? Joseph Kramer out there. TonyRamsey.com saying dot com. Ramsey.com, everybody. Dot uh, com and he's out. Hello, good morning to Joe. Uh, good morning to Joe Kramer and to Eric Williams out no, there. No, Larry Williams. Larry Williams. I'm sorry, Larry. Larry's been moving all over the place. Dude, he's been everywhere. I'll tell you what, man. Not only from the work he's been producing, but just how much he's been all over the place showing off his stuff. Yeah, really good. Yes, he he's, really he's putting up pictures of 282,000 G dollar G wagons. See, Larry, I'm you didn't watching. Think I was watching, did you? I'm seeing it. There you go. We're uh -huh. keeping up. We stay up with everybody around the world, ladies and gentlemen. We really for do. sure. Yeah. So. But we're going to jump out of this segment here. I got to go buff the dually. Yeah, I don't know why I have to buff a brand new dually, but I got to go do it. Got to be on the road in the morning, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. I don't know why, I'm, why am I buffing it. Why? You can just send it out there flat black. No, it's painted. Yeah. You but, just need to get it buffed. Well, the clear's already sanded, so I need to buff That's it. That's correct. Yeah. Because it's kind of, kind of like a matte finish. Do you feel like have the, world, have the world's been on your shoulders to get on this part of the road, uh, the leg of the tour? No, I just got to get stuff done. I hear you, man. I hear you. So that's all. Never ends, does I got to get back to it. Bub, until tomorrow. Just keep on doing it, Bubba's style. Ladies and gentlemen, this episode has been brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. That's Bubba's Exotic Motorsports.com where you'll see all this great stuff. Miss Outlaw Boutique. That's MS Outlaw Boutique. 561-660-6695. We will be coming to you live from the Tiki Bar at Miss Outlaw Boutique tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Monkey in Paradise. There it is right there. The two-time gold medal winner, monkeyinparadise.com. And they remind you to please drink responsibly. TonyRienzi.com, exotic car guru, and salesman to the stars. And last but certainly not least, Cars and Coffee of Palm Beach. Make sure you get out there and join us the 11th Sunday from 9 to 11 at the Outlet Malls. You're going to experience something totally different than you've ever experienced before. We wait to see you until tomorrow. And when you step out today, make sure you do so to touch somebody's life in a positive way. Open the door for an elder or just somebody who's got groceries in their hands. Choose somebody who's got a hole in the bottom of their shoes. Feed somebody who's hungry. McDonald's is cheap. Until tomorrow, keep on doing it Bubba style. Hey, Bob, what can I do to help you over here? Gio, you're now on the plate for a lot of rides with people. <coughs> Overall, that's what it's all about.